ladies and gents, players and pimps, what it do? Welcome to our live today. I'm actually excited because I like what I see with these games. I see a lot of opportunity today. So as we come in here, everybody, make sure you hit that like button that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed it makes no sense for you to be in here and not be subscribed but never know and if you're not a hall of famer come join the team it's only 25 dollars a month give you access to all of our plays and if you want to know how i do my research and what do i use i use outlier the best two in the world craig you did let's keep this month flowing so yesterday we didn't do bad I was frustrated and had to vent because it's like nothing been consistent. But the way I did my bets with switching, switching up the units, probably ended up losing like $20. So it wasn't a, a bad day. It was good to finally get some good vibes. So I'm excited for what we have. If you look at today games, you got two bums fighting over a dollar. The Trailblazers and Hornets. But the good thing about that is somebody got to win. Somebody got to lose. Somebody will probably be a superstar today. Lakers versus the Wizards. For some reason, the Lakers struggle against bum teams, especially the Wizards. So it could be a blowout. Could be potential for a good game. They get it as a blowout, but we shall see. Pistons versus Hawks. I like Pistons covering that spread because Pistons usually always cover the spread against the Hawks, and they haven't lost to them by over 11 points this year. Thunder versus Celtics. Um, did the Thunder who played yesterday? I feel like one of them played yesterday, but Celtics at home, no SGA. You know what time it is. We have the Pacers versus the Nets. Pacers just played them the other day, blew them through the water. Usually, that's a team I forgot to add 400 points somewhere. I forgot to add that parlay in there. That is the team you want for 100 points before the first, third quarter. So, remind me in the chat to do a parlay. Or I might do one live for y'all on here with it. We got the Grizzlies versus Bucks. Bucks just got upset to the Wizards yesterday, which is interesting. And they just got problems. They're right now, they're not a good team. And let's see, it looked like I'm in the way. They're not a good team right now and not playing good basketball. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Grizzlies cover the spread because last time they played, I believe the Grizzlies beat them recently, didn't they? I'm about certain they beat them. 113 to 110 less than a month ago. So, <laughs> you can't trust the Bucks. Can't trust them at home. Can't trust them anywhere. Raptors versus Timberwolves. Um, Timberwolves going to win that easy. See, they got that as a blowout. Magic versus the Pelicans. I like Magic in this place right now because they play once. Magic already beat them once. And you got the Suns, the Cavaliers versus the Suns. That should be a good one. So, I think we have a good slate today. I have a lot of good quality bets for you guys. I'm going to keep the vibes how I did it yesterday, but switch it up a little bit. We would have went green if SGA play didn't, didn't um, void out because he didn't play. And I believe that would have hit. Trey, y'all already know. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Share it to your friends. Y'all know the rule of thumb. While we're in here, we always need 50% engagement. 50% engagement. That means... We need, if we have 50 people in here right now, we need 25 likes. If we got 100 people, we need 50. We got 200, we need 100. And that will help build the platform. That help build everything. What's going on, Calvin? What's popping? Let's get it going. So starting off, what I am liking, we have our unit chart, as always. I love this play right here. This is a minus 104 on bet MGM because like I said before, I like the Wizards to cover the spread naturally and I like the Pistons to cover the spread naturally. 
So I just raised them both up where I raised the Wizards 19 and a half. So now all they have to do is win or lose by 19 points that cover. The Pistons, all they have to do is win or lose by 17 points. And that cover, minus 104, we about to have a good day. Starting off 1-0. and That is a full unit play. So for all of my Patreon members, and what I'll probably do is open this up to the public so you guys can know which play is which. But as long as you watch this video, you'll get it. So this is a full unit play um, right here. Full unit play. This is also another full unit play. Plus 110 on FanDuel. I like the Pacers to win and to cover the spread because they played them twice, blew them out twice. So I don't know why the spread is even closer this game. They just played them, what, last game and blew them out. I didn't expect it to be that bad, but it was. So I like the Pacers to win, easy cover the spread. So instead of me doing a full spread, I believe like eight and a half, we're just going to do seven and we're adding Boston money line because Celtics are at home. They're playing a Thunder team, I'm assuming, without SGA. And I believe the Thunder just played yesterday. Did they play yesterday? Let me confirm what team played teams played yesterday. I know the Lakers played. Lakers played, Raptors played, Bucks played, Wizard played, Thunder, Timberwolves, Cavs. All right, so we got those teams that played yesterday. I like this one, plus 110. Boston should cover that, and I believe Pacers should cover that. And I will check all messages soon once I'm finished, and we will answer questions, show y'all all the good stuff. Damn, Lando, take a shot before I even get my coffee. <laughs> uh, DA, man, you already know them Androids, dog. We Our group chats would be a lot more smoother if you had iPhone. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right, so Dra <laughs> DraftKings. At plus 125, this is a half a unit play. For people wondering what is a full unit, a full unit is how much money you're willing to bet per bet, how much money you're willing to place per bet. And it's an amount that you are okay with losing, but you'll be kind of mad if you lose it. So the way I kind of do it, if you make six figures, you make $100,000 a year, your unit size should be $100 per unit. If you make... $50,000 a year, your unit size can be $50, and you can kind of measure it that way. So this is a half a unit, so if this 100 and I track everything as a $100 better, so this is a $50 bet. Now me, sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less, but this is my standard usually. If you ever wonder where I'm betting, it's usually close around. The standard. Sometimes money be tight, and sometimes I do a little crazy stuff, but it's not smart to show you guys how much I do on certain bets. <laughs> Cause you got different money, and people would just do what I do since I'm doing it. It's like, ah, you just lost three hundred dollars. And some people don't make that in a week or something, you know. All right, DraftKings plus one twenty five. We got Cal Kuzma points over Jason Tatum. Well, not points over. Let me correct that. 20 points, Jason Tatum, 20 points, KD, 20 points. This is our 20-point slate. So, for the new people, we are using Outlier, and, do, 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 and you can try them out for a week free by clicking the link in the bio, or I will have it pinned to the top of the comments after this. But I'm noticing bad game, good game, bad game, good game, bad game. Back to good game, and he's playing against the Lakers. Playing against his old team. So it's always motor, um, motivation there. His record against them, 26. Well, how many points he scored against them? 26, 22, 20. So he got over 20 each time he have played against them. I believe he's going to keep it going. Jason Tatum. The good thing I love about taking Tatum points or anything, Tatum usually play the whole game, and they just never take him out. <laughs> no matter if it's a blowout, no matter what's going on. So if we literally did over 20 points, Tatum have done that in the last 10 games straight. If we look at head-to-head, -head, last three times they played 27, 27, and 30. So you can move Tatum around 
on another parlay if you like to 25 points, and I will be comfortable and safe with that. And the last one, we have Kevin Durant. Let's check him out also for 20 points. Mr. KD, Mr. Consistent, because it is getting time for playoffs, and these teams and players are getting ready to do what they got to do. So last one, two, three, four, five games, he got over it. That's good money. I like it. Those games, he was on that BS. We wasn't his friend around that time. And the last time he played Cleveland, and the only time he played Cleveland as a as a um, Phoenix Sun, he dropped 37 on them. So this is a half of unit play. Next half a unit play, LeBron James, 25 points. Clint Capella, 10 points. Christoph Porzingis, 15 points. Let's do the same. Let's talk about all of them. LeBron, whenever he played him, he gets up. I don't care about him playing the day before. They probably might have a break after this, or we we shall see. But I like to just go head to head. Last three times, 29 points, 33 points, 33, which he just recently played them on the 29th. So a few days ago, and he dropped 31. And it's the same team. Nobody else going to guard him any differently. So that is a very solid bet that I like with LeBron, 25. We just don't need them to blow them all the way out, but they could and still what could happen. So you got a lot of options. Clint Capella, we've been on this consistently. He's been hitting that for us every day. Ten points, eight rebounds have been our thing. I need to probably start turning that to his own parlay. But both legs have been hidden, so we're going to keep it consistent with that. Chris Alpersingas, 15 points. He's consistently doing it. I like it. Next, these are, is this another? Okay, that's my first half a unit. There we go. Next, looking at it. Uh, so this units, there we go. Let me say it. Let me say it correctly. Let me say it correctly. One unit, two units, three units. So let me say it correctly. The first three plays are four unit plays. Next is a half unit. So this half unit, and this is a half unit. Anthony Davis, 12 rebounds. Pascal Siakam, six rebounds. Clint Capella, eight rebounds. Josh Giddy, four of them things. Rudy Gobert, 10 rebounds. Nurkic, 10 rebounds, like that also. And here go for, I believe these are a quarter of a unit. Yes, 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 yes. My friend, my friend. So, yep, we got half unit, half unit. Bam, quarter of a unit. So, this is technically like $25, 25% of whatever your full unit would be. You got LeBron James, eight assists. Derek White, 15 points. What they've been giving us good value the last few games, and he consistently been doing it. So we're doing that every day until he don't. Going against Giannis, we faded him yesterday. It was close. We got him on a hook. Will we get him on a hook today? I don't know. He could be angry about losing yesterday and being pissed off, but 37 points is a lot of points, even though, and like he have not been doing it. Like if we look at this and look at what Giannis been doing when it come down to his points last 10 games points and let's look at the under 36 bam he haven't did it in less 10 games but look at that one away yesterday right there right on the hook like he's real close to it so we're playing with fire we are playing with fire with this one that's why it's a quarter of a unit play and Banchero, I just don't like him because every time I bet on him to get points, he struggled to score 10 points every time. So I'm fading him. I don't care about the research. I just know the last few times I didn't bet on him. I just don't like him. So that's a quarter of a unit. And let's keep it going. I will answer the questions in a second and read the comments. On FanDuel. Another quarter of a unit. Close to plus 1,000. It's a 960. AD over on points. Exact same thing I said with LeBron. AD have a monster game against the Wizards. They just bully him. 
Mikael Bridges, he's been shooting threes, and he's been shooting them consistently lately, so we're going to rock with that. Derek White, since we got him to get over his 15 points, we're going to do tree trees. And Bradley Beal, we are fading Bradley Beal under 16 and a half. And fading Bradley Beal is just really all about his shots attempts. It's not that he can't score it, but with him being a third option, he haven't found his flow over there of him being a score. So if we look at his under, and you look the not that the last ten games, you get seven games straight where he would get close to it. He get 15, 13, 13, but he don't really get it. And it all come down to his field goals, um, his attempts. Where do a regular do it? But you see, like, he got eight attempts last game, 13. Long as he stay around 13, 10. I really want him under 10 attempts, to be honest. Under 10 attempts, I believe we should hit this one. Now, before I get to the fun ones and the crazy ones, let's check on everybody that's in here. And let's make sure y'all been hitting that like button. And I clicked the wrong button. All right. We got 94 people in here, y'all. So we're just going to round it up and say we got 100 people in here. We need 50 likes. 5-0 likes. We are at 32. So stop what you're doing right now. And we need 18 likes before I show y'all all of my bonus bets. Then we have our crazy bets. See, what, see who in the building. What up, Lando? I have no idea how to use X. Glad I found you live. Good luck tonight. No problem over here on Twitter, baby. Excellent video. Appreciate you, Alex. Hope all is well with you. I feel it's a great day to make some money today. Are these alt points? Some of them was alt points. Some was over and under. The first one, the unit ones, was all alt points. I believe once we get closer to the half units or quarter of a unit plays they were um full boys clayton is claxon is um questionable open that up i've been getting so many loss um i've been get yeah better for knowledge whatever the hell you meant to type alex that shit just confused me <laughs> we need 12 more lights keep them up what's up What's going on? Lamar was popping. I need insurance. Yes, I have a lot of insurance plays coming up. Have some insurance plays. Pelicans to cover. I like that play. Or no, I have. Who do I have to cover? Pelicans are playing Orlando. I have Orlando to cover. We shall see. Who not playing tonight? Like Trey said, hit that button. Cattell Marte just hit a home run. Welcome to the MLB 2024, Mr. Marte. Good deal. I like having him for first home runs. He usually goes wild with it. I need a win. We all do. Ron was popping. Hope all is well. Eight more likes and we can continue the video feeling broke need to relieve yeah dog we all feeling broke because the books have been hitting us over our head consistently for the month of march but it's a new month it's april so we're not bringing those negative vibes into this month we're gonna make it do what it do get it popping seven more likes we can get it going and we can continue what's popping we got pregnant lady Pregnant Ballet, what's up? <laughs> what's going on, y'all? If you do come back up here, I would love a water. Yes, I forgot to grab one before I started. Pretty please. Pretty please, baby. Six more likes and we can continue. While we are waiting for these six likes, we can talk about patreon we can talk about outlier i can just promote stuff but i will stop promoting once we get these 
who just gave me, who just took away a like? So y'all just want me to promote. That's what y'all, y'all don't want the video to go smooth. There we go. They gave it back. Y'all don't want all of that. Did I get booted from the community chat? I don't think so. I don't think so. Long as it, it just all come down to um whatever day your reef your monthly shit. So whatever day your payment, so say today is your payment. If your payment didn't go through, they disable parts of the community chat. So, but besides that, no, you didn't get booted. All right, we got our 50 likes. See, that wasn't that hard. I ain't even had to promote. Let's talk about the good bets. Switch it up. All right. First, we have for a tenth of a unit. This is a $10 play. This is the perfect slate. Washington Wizards to cover spread. Charlotte Hornets to win the Bumbo. Pistons to cover the spread. We have Pacers to cover the spread. Boston to just win straight up. I don't trust them enough to cover the spread. We have the Grizzlies against Milwaukee Bucks. I do not trust the Bucks as far as I can throw them to cover the spread. Magic, this is a tough one, a uh, coin flip. Magic to cover the spread. They could lose, but long as they lose within four points. I like it, but they could win the first game they play. Each other, they already won. Like it. Minnesota should win easily, and the Phoenix Suns should win easily. I forget what is the total odds of this i believe i think it's ten dollars to win 800 and i did this twice one to cash out one to let it ride so when y'all in the community chat be like ah lando ten dollars up to a hundred dollars what should we do cash it out and we let that other one rat we didn't 10x our your money this is a jj profit splash on a draft kings they gave us a 50 percent Profit boost. So I decided to get freaky with it and do only points. So I got Aaron Neesmith, points under. Andrew Nemhart, points under. Cam Thomas, points under. And a Tyrese Halliburton, points over. $10 to get you $160. It's a you can do it max at $25, but the way NBA haven't been to us, haven't been nice. So we are only doing $10 to make us holler. Oh, my bad. I thought you was doing. He's good. Same game parlay insurance on DraftKings. Also, this is Anthony Davis over on points because I showed you guys he dominate them every time he play him. LeBron James, LeBron James, he dominate them every time he play him. And AD for 14 rebounds. I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping. Lord, I'm hoping. That the Wizards make this a competitive game. If they do, we're golden. Everything will hit. They blow them out. Probably two of these to hit. It will probably be like this and this. And that one won't hit when we get our $10 back. But we shall see. Now, here go our big ones. We have our round robin plays by four. What that means is if all don't hit, one to lose, we still get paid. If two lose, we still get paid. But we at least want three to really be in the green two will probably get you some money back depending on the play and all of them hit yolo lakers to record 100 points in the first three quarter they did it yesterday they doing it they playing the wizards they can do it again today and you can also switch this with the pacers i love the pacers with with this also so i might do this exact same play at in the pacers we'll see Derek White, 20 points since I have him to get 15. Just get five more, Mr. White. Brooke Lopez, I never get mad at Brooke Lopez for three threes. He already won me over $1,000 twice so, so far this year. So Brooke can't do no wrong. Hit three threes. He usually hit them early. He don't. The weird thing about Brooke Lopez, he don't. It's either he hit them earlier or he don't. He had just hit like two in the first quarter, three in the first quarter. But if he don't get it early... It's like he don't play the rest of the game. It's weird. Rudy Gobert, we need 16 rebounds from you. Dollar, dollar, five dollars. Fifteen dollars total gets you six sixty four. Next, Max Struess, Tree Trees. Giannis, we got him for 40 points just in case he's on demon time today and he messes up on that other one. 
Giannis, if you go over 36 points and don't get 40, we're going to have a problem. Don't get 37, 38, 39. So you got three points that we don't want you to touch. <laughs> do not do any of those three. If you go over, go over 40. D low for over four threes. D low can get hot any game. So you really can't go wrong with taking D low, especially him against a bad team. And Jalen Brown at home, you know, money. He can hit that early in the first quarter, actually. $1, $1, $5, $15, dollars get you four, 15 Next up, Jordan Poole for 20 points. Now, let's look at Jordan Poole. We know Jordan Poole was just a fading, fadeable player early this season. Most of the season, he just haven't been good. Once he went on the bench, he honestly got better. And once Kaminga went out, he honestly got better. So you look at his last five games, 23, 38, you know, 70, and he had 22. So now it's bad game, good game, bad game. Could have a good game if we look at his head-to-head. Last time and the only time he played against the Lakers as a wizard, he dropped 34 on them, and it was of a day. I'm just saying, you got to have a pool party somewhere and you slip this one. Why not? Pool party, I could have went for more. I ain't going for 34. We're going for 20. And we're going with Bridges, 20. I did like, actually, this would be a very interesting Wild play. All right. At the end of the video, remind me to cook up some parlays. Pool and Bridges. Just remind me Pool and Bridges, and I'll show y'all what I've been thinking in my mind. Luke Dork over three threes. Dork, for some reason, he was hitting for us consistently with those threes. And lately, he just barely been scoring points. He ain't, ain't even scoring. So the time I don't bet on him, he'll probably go hard. I think he had 15 or something yesterday. But I don't know, Luke. We going to see. Adding him with Devin Booker. So we got two 20 points, two threes. Dollar, dollar, five dollars, fifteen dollars. Get you one fourteen. Next up, let's get a little bit more aggressive. LeBron James, triple dub, and the Lakers to win plus 820. DeJounte Murray, when I watched to see him play against the Pistons this year at home, and he dropped 30 on us. So do that again. And I need y'all to win against my Pistons, pretty please. So we got Murray, 30, and that's a plus 205. Tatum, four threes, that's barbecue chicken, easy money, and a Boston to win, plus 200. And Oz Reed, four trees in Minnesota to win. Dollar, dollar, five dollars, fifteen dollars, get you 18 hundo. My eyes couldn't see that. I couldn't tell if it was 16 or 18 hundo. Now, these are $5 plays. You can still do your round robins if you want, but these are the ones that got left off and didn't make it to the big boys. We got D'Lo, four rebounds, Hunter, four rebounds, Lou Dort, four rebounds, Brooke Lopez, six rebounds. Ooh, you got to be spicy today, Brooke. You got to get more than more than one rebound. Get 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 six, please. Jaden McDaniel, now, Brooke Lopez, I hate him with rebounds. Threes, he can't do no wrong. Rebounds, if he don't get them, I still blame me because we all know Brooke Lopez just don't grab rebounds. Besides when I fade him. When I fade him, like last time I fade him get from getting six rebounds, he got like five in the first half and didn't get no more. Like, stop playing with me, um, Lopez. Stop doing that. Jaden McDaniels, four rebounds also. Five dollars gets you 151. McCollum, five trees. Malik Beasley, five of them. And Donovan Mitchell. This look actually very good. Five dollars gets you two thirty-eight. Four trees. Austin Reeves, Chris Stock Porzingis, Cam Thomas. Five dollars gets you six thirty-seven. And last but not least, three trees. Ruri, Cade, Ruri, <laughs> Ryu, Cade, and Bradley Beal. Five dollars gets you two fifty-seven. I like it. Welcome to why I keep on clicking the wrong one. Like, Orlando, do better.
yeah all right let's read some comments i don't trust dort me neither but the only reason i gotta give him a chance is because sga is not playing and his minutes should go up so like let's look at it like dork you shouldn't be give, stressing us out like i'm assuming you get more opportunities you was a bucket for us earlier in the season for these trees and look at these let's go points so it's like 15 points one time in the last 10 games that's unacceptable to my standards it is let's look at your threes tree trees last game you know i, I don't know we gonna see let's see how his minutes are because without what you call it 33 minutes so yeah i i don't know hopefully he do what is needed to be done the wizards off a back-to-back -back, i expect the lakers block um the lakers off the back-to-back -back also and the wizards are on a back-to-back -back, i believe at home so that favors more towards the wizards to cover the spread versus lakers and lakers for some reason they don't blow out bad teams like they supposed to and even if they do blow them out they still allow them to come back into the game make that make sense we have 123 people in him thank you and y'all have it at 50 percent like so i don't even have to yell y'all doing y'all doing good baby y'all are doing good i am heavy on mlb runs unders and hits fading baby yesterday was a fade day bobby showed us something in the community chat yesterday was the worst dinger tuesday of all of last year season like literally worst dinger tuesday so like nobody hit any home runs yesterday lando what up though d was popping he said curry <laughs> no diddy d curry blew me off <laughs> curry blew me last night had 23 legs at, and had him for four threes he had three that is a automatic lock curry four threes curry 20 points but he had what 13 points more than you like come on curry. I, that was wild curry not scoring 20 points is just wild and they won I, you know what's that about Somebody said my volume is low. Is my volume is low? I hear myself. It's not low. Let's see. Because if I turn it up like this, the problem is when I have it like this and when I turn up, it get too loud. Let me let me know if this is better or was y'all saying the music volume is low? Which one is low? So we can do some parlays. Let me log in. And we're not doing MLB. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're doing the NBA. Um, let me log into FanDuel. FanDuel. Do I even have any money over in my FanDuel? I think I'm broke, baby. I'm broke, baby. Let's see. I got $38 in there. I got $38. I can make some things hollered in. We can make some things hollered with a little $30. Um, yes, sir. We are good. Perfect. So he said turn the volume up. I don't know. Appreciate the channel. I appreciate you guys. Go holler at Morgan and Sons. Long care. I just put my boy on for the year to take care of my lawn. So he going to get a player. Right. So what I told you guys earlier, like, so let's look at some crazy parlays, like just some crazy plays. Crazy plays that I actively like is Mikael Bridges. So remember last year, Mikael Bridges was a bucket, like getting 30 points and stuff. Now I don't know what's wrong with him. But the thing I do like, he's been consistently hitting threes. Seven points. So he's due 
for like a 40 point game out of nowhere and people's going to be pissed. Cause look, it's over under 18. That's cute. And we're going to just do this on FanDuel. So let's take away everything else and just do on FanDuel. So if we did my cousin to drop 30 tonight, that's a plus 1,200, dog. Oh, not Mets. Don't do that. Take you away. We are talking basketball. This is a plus 1,200. That's money. Who did I say also I wanted to team him up with? Ah, Who did I say I wanted to team him up with? To, 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 to. Pool. So we know Jordan Pool. I would love this if if um if Kuzma wasn't playing. Because I'm assuming when he dropped that 30 point game, I'm assuming Kuzma wasn't playing. Let's double check and see if Kuz Kuzma was playing that game. Because it looked like he's playing tonight. Because that game went into overtime, remember? And it was money being just made everywhere. Kuzma did play that game. Actually, is this one? Yep, Kuzma did play that game. He dropped 20. And Buddy came off the bench and dropped five threes. So instead of pool points, we can aim for a pool party from three-point line. And the most they let you do is four. You max that out. Bam. And really, you need one more wild one. That one more wild one, I'm about to show y'all what we can do. Show y'all how to get freaky with it. Show y'all something crazy. Show you something crazy. Come on. Bam. And we're going to do Indiana Pacers. To score 100 points by 100 points by the end of the third quarter. Where is that at? I'm so used to doing that. Play on my phone. Do they not have it? Did they, did they take it away? Check on your phone and see if they did that. They are lame, dog. They are lame. Okay, let me check on a different team. Because I know if they took that away, that's some lame stuff. Because they already know what time it was. Let me see. Lakers? Come on. Team to record 100 points in the first three quarters. That's crazy because they already know they're going to do that. And they didn't. Like, look, look at this. If we look at. The last two times they played, because that was going to be the banger right there. Not the Wizards. What are we looking at? The Pacers. Pacers just played the Nets, I believe, last game, right? And if they just played them last game, look at this. They scored 133 and 121. And this was just last game. So let's see. Now, they're not going to be in Brooklyn. But let's see how many points did they have at the end of the third quarter. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, over 100. So last game, they get over 108 points by the third quarter. And let's see the game before did they get. They probably didn't get it the game before because they had 121. If so, they didn't score in the fourth quarter at all. Let's see. Box scores. And bam, 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 bam. Nope, they get to 86. So it's lame that they don't have that. We can. What's a good value? Wow, play. Okay, they got that locked up. So that means somebody not playing. Okay. Have let's look at the Atlanta Hawks and Detroit. Have Atlanta ever whooped on Detroit such as scoring? Because Detroit always co um covered the spread when they play. But okay, we got 130 points last time they played in Atlanta, and let's see if we can get over. 
Oh no, this is not third. Third. 96 points. Came close. Close, but no potatoes. Um, I don't love that play right here with it. I really don't. Let's do uh ups. Let's do this. Grizzlies beat the Bucks last time. The Bucks should whoop on them. But let's do a Memphis Grizzly. Plus 300. How can I find a plus 300? Let's go to the alternative spread. And Grizzlies to lose by three points. Lose by three points. And you got you a wild one right here. And the way you would do it is round robin it. Nothing crazy. Dollar right there. Dollar right there. Fold out a fold out of play. And we got a wild one. So if y'all want to see some crazy stuff like that, or y'all want to see just some quick, good research plays, because y'all have 17 more minutes of my time. So let's read some of the, of the questions that you guys have, which I like. Brooke Lopez, four threes. I like that. Yep, they took it. Down some BS. Lando, do they allow price picks where you are at? And they did. And I used to do price picks video, but they took it away in Michigan. So I no longer do price picks. I seen, I just got a notification earlier that <clears throat> I think in Louisiana, they are banning college basketball player props, which is smart because I just, College players, they gonna bet on themselves. It's just, I don't like, I don't like props. Like, even though I do this for a living, I don't even like it with the NBA at this point. Like, it really should just be just bet on who gonna win or lose because now you literally have a player that just came out this year. We found out he was betting on the games, betting his under. And if he's doing it, think of how many other players are doing that. So, it don't make sense as a gambler that watches. It's like, man, these players selling. And I feel a lot of players are gambling on their unders because it's easy to know if you're over under 18 points. Let me just make sure I score 17. I'm sorry, missing free throws and uh, uh, coach my leg. Uh, I caught a cramp. And next thing you know, he just lost your money. Where buddy at with the million dollar parlays in the comments? I know, yeah. Well, my man that was in the comments, like, oh man, ten dollars, man. I only do ten dollars to win a thousand. Where are where hold on? Where he at? Where he at? <laughs> Yo, man, though, I only do those big parlays. He'd <laughs> be in the comments like, oh man, man. <laughs> You got the crazy ones. Curry not scoring 20 means Andrew Wiggins took the scoring low. Another one is you can do top scores today. So another game, um, another one you can do, I'll show you, if they have it available on some games, top point scores on blowout games. So we have a blowout game right here. See if they got top point score. It's usually under doubles. They don't have it on this game. Thank you, Lakers. I just don't get like what's the criteria of having it. Some games and some games not having it. Like, yeah, I guess we can't do it because no games have it. Like, why some days you got a top point score and some days you don't? I just don't get it. So it's like so inconsistent. Top point score. We finally got one. All right. So this game, you got Pacers versus the Nets. You can hit them since we can do Bridges. Say Bridges have that crazy game. We can take them over here. Bam. And that's plus 600. Good value for that. And he is going against the uh, Pacers. And only two people on the Pacers score technically is Halliburton if he's hot. Or Siakam. So it's only really those two. 
let's see if this game gives us a top point score do, 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 do. nope my jeez this is brutal let's try this damn last game y'all give us one on this one nope so that is one you can do and let's add who is due for a crazy game okay Devin Booker just had a 50 point game let's say if he follow it up going crazy again because remember last year he had a crazy run 35 points just had 50 point game let's drop 35 or 40 that's not a bad play if you think of it and one more Pistons now we have Cade been randomly dropping 30 the last few games for some reason Okay, drop 30 again today. Pretty please. Do they have top point score over here? Let's double check it just in case with my PS stands. PS stands. Nope, they don't have it. So this is a plus 11,000. Not bad. You can round robin it if you want. Or you just put a hot dollar on it for Hundo depending on how it do what you betting today adam you are late i already showed all of my bets so i can run through them very very quick can you show us the bet slips for tonight okay i guess a lot of you guys are late so i'm going to run through it and i'm going to run through it quickly but all you can do is rewind the video and i talked about it but for the ones for tonight my friends my friends my friends let's get it popping all right this is a full unit play. We have the Washington Wizards to win or lose by 19 points. And we have my Pistons to win or lose by 17 points. Plus 104 on back MGM. Next unit is Pacers to win by 7 points. And Boston to just win on a money line. FanDuel have it at plus 110. I like that for a full unit. The third four unit on DraftKings at plus 125 is Kuzma 20, Tatum 20, and KD 20. Next, we are going to have a unit plays. This is LeBron at 25 points, Clint Capella at 10 points, and Chris Op Porzingis at 15 points. This is a half a unit at plus 224 on DraftKings. This is a FanDuel play at plus 222. AD 12 rebounds, Siakam 6 rebounds, Clint Capella, eight rebounds. Josh Giddy, four rebounds. Rudy Gobert, 10 rebounds. Nurkic, 10 of them things. This is a half a unit play. Or actually, hold on. All right, this is a quarter of a unit play. LeBron James up over his assists. Eight assists. We have Derek White over on points, 15 points. We got Giannis. We're fading Giannis under 36 and a half points and Banchero we are fading him under 22 and a half points that is plus 6 24 on DraftKings and it's another quarter of a unit play AD over on points Bridges over on threes Derek White over on threes and Bradley Beal under on points and I broke down earlier why I like every single one of those this is a tenth of a unit play, a $10 play for me, who I believe will win today and how they're going to win. Wizards to cover the spread. Hornets to win straight up. Pistons to cover the spread. Pacers to cover the spread. Boston to win straight up. Grizzlies to cover the spread. Orlando Magic to cover the spread. Timberwolves to win straight up. And the Suns to win straight up. We have a JJ Reddit profit splash on DraftKings. Neesmith, that's the same game parlay only. Aaron Neesmith, under on points. Aaron Nimhart, under on points. Cameron Thomas, under on points. Tyrese Halliburton, over on points. $10 gets you one. 60 with the boost. Same game parlay insurance. We have AD over on points. We have LeBron over on points. And we have AD over on rebounds. Method to my madness with this one. $10 gets you $47. You could do it up to $50. But once I lower it to $10, we actually start hitting instead of going two for three. So I'm going to roll with it again. $15 plays. These are round robin plays. 
Dollar, dollar, five dollars, total of fifteen dollars each. That's how it be tracked. Lakers to drop a hundred points in the first three quarters. Derek White, 20 points. Brooke Lopez, three trees. And a Rudy Gobert, 16. Not assists, Lord. 16 rebounds. $15 gets you 600 and something. I can't read it from here. And we have Max Schroes, three threes. Giannis, 40 points. D low, four threes. Jaden, Jalen Brown, three threes, fifteen dollars gets you four fifteen. Pool party, twenty points. Mikael Bridges, 20 points. Lou Dork, three threes. And we have Devin Booker, three threes. $15 gets you 114. LeBron James, triple double in the Lakers to win. DeJounte Murray, 30 points in Atlanta to win. Jason Tatum, four threes in Boston to win. Nas Reed, four threes in Minnesota to win. $15 gets you 18. Hundo, $5 plays is D Low, four rebounds. D Hunter, Four rebounds. Lou Dork, four rebounds. Brooke Lopez, six. Jaden McDaniels, four rebounds. Next up, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Five, we have CJ McCollum, five threes. Malik Beasley, five threes. And Donovan Mitchell, five threes. Five dollars get you two, 38. Four, we have Austin Reeves, four threes. Chris Oporzingis, four threes. Cam Thomas, four threes, five dollars, get you six thirty seven. Three threes, and this is the last one. We didn't do two and one. It just sounded good. Ryu Hachimura, we have three of them things. K, three of them things, and Bradley Beal, three of them things. Five dollars for two fifty seven. Whew, that was a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot, my friends. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? There we go. Appreciate it. I don't trust Kuzma. No problem with that. Kuzma. Kuzma going against his old team. And he dropped 20 points every time he played against him. So it should be money. What up, Doe? 48205 in here. Nobody in here know what zip code that is. Nobody. We know area codes. We don't know, do anybody in here know, without Google, what's 48205 zip code? <laughs> Wizards might win tonight, especially if who go crazy. Yeah, might as well do a crazy one. Yeah, like then you got to do the slip that don't make any sense whatsoever. Oh, no, I got to log back in. Let me do this do, 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 do. let me do my login stuff come on mm. gotta do my hockey bets all right so you always do your crazy stuff like this yeah they could win i like it um pistons always keep it close Hell, Pistons could win. This easy. Any of these teams could win. Um, Brooklyn, they're definitely not going to win. They're not going to win. Grizzlies already beat them. Orlando Magic already beat them. And the Cleveland, I don't like that. So, you just round the robin. These for the minimum. 0 0.9 cents. 0 0.9 cents. 0 0.9 cents and 9 cents not $9 because I don't have favor like that $2.34 can get you up to four thirty-one. all upset games that could possibly happen you know the way especially the way the NBA have been playing lately I wouldn't put it past anybody or anything. What y'all think? Red zone. Detroit East Side. There you go. East Side in the building. They going good. They is going good. We got my D 
Detroit brother in the building. He over there on the east side. Well, damn, it must be two sides. All right, we got four more minutes. Any parlay, anything y'all need me to cook up before I go cook up some hockey bets. What y'all need from a player, let me know. For the new people that's in here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We can get up to 24 more likes to get us to 100. We got over 120 people in here. If you guys are not a Hall of Famer, what are you waiting for? Come join a team. It's only $25 to give you access to all of my plays, community chat, all the good stuff that is popping. And if you are not doing your research with Outlier, what are you doing? Come try them out for a week free with my link in the bio or will be pinned to the top of the comments. Or just type in outlier.bet slash Lando. There you go. Actually, I can do this. Outlier. Dot bet slash Lendo. Bam. Did I do it right? That post be a dot. <laughs> oh, Lord. I bet slash Lando. Shout out to them. Can't wait till the NFL start back up. None of us can't wait till the NFL start back up because I was doing $10 for $1,000 plays every damn week and just about hitting them every other week at that point. <laughs> Lando, you should do a challenge. At least hit one bet on sports you don't know. Basketball in China. Table tennis, cricket. The only thing is I get so many bets that I do know in the bets that I'm, or sports that I'm learning. You know, and I do do them. I just don't show people. Like when I'm up at 3 in the morning and I'm looking for a live bet. Uh, so, I, so I bet on random stuff like a regular person. When you're doing that at three in the morning and you see cricket is playing, I definitely do it. I just don't share it because whatever I share, you're gonna have thousands of people that's gonna do it. And it's like, um, I did zero percent research. I just see that they are favorites. And let's see if we can make this ten dollar holla. You know, something simple as that. You know it. All right, let's look at we'll look at some outlier research real quick before we get up out of here let's see if we was to cook up a parlay that i would like so let's go we're gonna do three player to get points so that we'll do three three and three oh well let's let's do each category so this is a parlay i get y'all we want it to be under let's just do props let's go hard with it Let's go hard. Straight props. All the hard stuff. We're going to do first points. Who do I like the most for points today? Not you, Jordan Poole. All right, well, points, since I already look, I will probably say, what? where's Clint at? Capella has been doing me right lately. What is his over under? Why? He's not on here. That's what alt lines. Okay, open up some alt lines. Why don't we? Over 12 points. What is his odds at minus? Oh, I guess probably because I don't have my other options up, huh? That make a little bit more sense. But I like him for 10. Let's see. LeBron, we go players we can trust. LeBron has dropped over each game against them. Over 29 points each game, last three games against them. Head to head three times as a Laker. So his over his um over under is at 25. I'm going with Brown Brown. So we go with King James for points. Now let's go with rebounds. I freaking hate assists. Let's just get assists out the way. I do not like betting on assists because you got to bet on two people to do something. So uh, let's go with percentage-wise. I'm just going to go Garland hooked us last time. Reeves, it's going to be easy. How many assists do Reeves get against the – um? oh, hell no, nah, Reeves. You ain't good against them. Two, two, who's been 100%? So Reeves, Garland, don't like that. 
Cam, I'm definitely not betting on any Brooklyn player. Tatum? Mm, at least they're playing a bad team. Where is this at? Tatum had eight against some, two. That's not sexy. Y'all, somebody give me somebody that's consistent with assists. We'll go to somebody else because I didn't even research assists today because I just don't like adding assists to my parlays. Rebounds. Rebounds. Who's been doing a thing? Well, my dog, Clint. Where you at, dog? Where are you at? You've been hitting for me every day. So it's over. Ooh. Going against Detroit. Is Durham playing? And nope. Look at this. Over, under, over, under, over. It's under day. So I ain't even about to I'll just literally look at that damn chart and can tell I ain't messing with that Josh Giddy without any SGA. How do, 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 do. I don't know what position and how much time he will play. Jay McDaniel, he can get four. That might be the move. And he got seven and six. All right, we're going with McDaniels to get four for the rebounds. And where are we going next? Two, two points. Rebounds. Let's go threes. Trees, mother. Trees. Do, 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 do. Bridges. I already know I like Bridges because he's been on it lately. Last five games, he hit three threes. We a rock with that. Is there any other category that I would mess with? But these would be the three plays I would like within this category. That's a plus four. 21. If we just did those four, not adding anything else, is my FanDuel even still open? Are you still alive, FanDuel? Oh, you are, but I need to log in. So that would be more of the type of play I would do. Asking that. Good for. Oh, I forget. Assist. That's what we got. Booker for assist. Booker, y'all did say, okay. I forgot to read the comments. I forget that assist first because y'all know I don't don't like no damn assist. Let's go back and see Booker for assist. Over here, any seven assists? Nope, bad game. Good game, bad game, good game, bad game, good game. It's crazy how players literally do this. Let's I fade Booker. So we're we're fade Booker. Because he just do the same damn thing. It's crazy how players do that. So Booker would be a fade. <laughs> there we go. So our last one would be Devin Booker. Last game. A fade. Assist, assist, assist. Bam. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Bam. We at nine. 42. What y'all think about that parlay? Do y'all think that parlay will hit? Let me know in the comments if y'all think that will hit. AR15 double double tonight. Yeah, that might not be a bad one. Might be a good place. First time listening to this stream. What's going on, Chris? Welcome. Everything. But fella just throwing out random bets. Uh okay. Right now we are talking about random bets but if you was here at the beginning i literally have a whole <laughs> a whole bet thing so we had to rewatch it to see all of my random bets just curious what's your best year bet on nba because i agree with you on a post yesterday it's been bad i will say my best year was the year before last, the year before last, I went absolutely insane on the playoffs because what I do, I bet heavier in the playoffs. So it's like literally a hundred dollars bet type of deal when it comes down to playoffs because the games slow down and it's easier for me to do. And my record is damn near impeccable when it comes down to predicting what's going to happen in the playoffs. So I say the year before, um, last year I went insane in the playoffs. I, we was, I was wanting people so much, so much money. 
I think the biggest because I will I think we had a plus ten thousand bet. It's all on Twitter and everywhere. We we hit a bunch of money because I had a plus ten thousand for Aaron Gordon to be a top score one game. I picked the upsets with Miami Heat each game, each game upset on um which call it because they, they had a trend. First game was always upset, so I was following their trend. Was hitting that. So playoffs, we went insane. Let me know in the comments if you was with me last year doing NBA playoffs. Things got wild. Things got real. But, like, right now, NBA, it sucks because it's not consistent. It's nothing. No teams not winning consistently. No players. He, Steph Curry can't even get 20 points at home, and he's healthy. Like, it's crazy. Murray been consistent. Want me to block some? No, Quincy, you don't got to block him. You don't, you don't, you don't got to block him. He's a first-timer. He just said, I'm throwing random bets because I'm talking about random bets. He just came in at the wrong time. Booker, Booker be hit or miss with it. Bridges ruled out. What? I done did all those Bridges um, plays and hyped them up all day, and he's ruled out. So, uh, that sucks. But that make more opportunity. Let me lock in this bet that I showed you guys real quick. That lock in more opportunity for number players to go off then. So now a few of my plays look bad because I believe I have a under or something on somebody. Let me look at my plays. If he's ruled out, that sucks because let's look at my plays to do, do which one do i have anybody under nope so that under is good do bradley bill okay that under up i have bridges three threes right there so that's going to get voided i have who are they playing who is the nets playing why can't I? Okay. Yep. So that, that helps out my, our pacer spread. So I'm assuming that spread probably went even higher now if he's ruled out. No, it's still 7.5. So is he ruled out? Let me check. Because sometimes y'all just do be just saying stuff in the comments. So let me confirm that he is ruled out. That's first before I even start doing extra research. Injuries, Pacers, we got, where the hell you get that from, dog? It don't say nowhere about Bridges being root out. <laughs> now, you could be right. You could be right. But the odds didn't change. He's not on the injury report, so I think you don't know what you're talking about. That's what I think personally. But, you know. And who said that? Oh, Miles Bridges. <laughs> my, <laughs> my bad. My bad, dog. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, my bad. I apologize. I'm like, okay, we got the wrong Bridges. Uh, yeah, I ain't worried about that, Bridges. I don't have him on any of my plays or any of my bets. That is wow. Yeah, I apologize. You was right. I was wrong. All right, let me go cook up some hockey. Check out my MLB bets. See how they was, those are doing. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I will talk to you guys later in the community chat if you're a Patreon member. If not, see y'all tomorrow.